doing. Firstly, really? again, I just want to say thanks for everybody really? that has come in to show their support for all yeah. the homeless people, including myself. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Anthony from the Inner City Health and Homeless for asking me to speak here this evening. Um, ICHH do a wonderful job with the homeless people and I'll always be available to give a dig out when I need it. Today is my 550th day living in temporary emergency accommodation with my 10 year old daughter Emily. When we first started on this forever winding road, Emily was only eight. That's a massive chunk out of a child's life. A little child forced to grow beyond her years because there are no options for people at the bottom. Low income earners are forgotten about in society. With no end in sight to this nightmare, she will be at least 11 before it's over. One sec. She will have lost three years of her little childhood due to the negligence of the successive Irish governments. This time last year, they said they had a plan. What happened to that? We are yet to see the results of those promises. And this year, what is the actual plan? Because all I can hear is excuses. Are they still pinning all their hopes on the year 2020, when apparently all these new bills will suddenly be available for social housing? Every month, the homeless figures grow, and when it's discussed in the media, it's as if it's unexpected. How many times can you warn someone about what is going to happen next? How can you stop the inevitable from happening? The answer is rent certainty, to stop more people from becoming homeless. Start building social housing for people. How many new bills have happened since this time last year? This time last year, I began campaigning for all the boarded up properties to be opened up immediately. One year later, as we walk around the city, one second, we can see tons of boarded up places. Why aren't they been opened up? What's taken so long? Homelessness has snowballed out of control. Why isn't anybody being held accountable for this? It is time for us to stand together, side by side, and demand our homeless people are housed. This cannot continue. How many more lives have to be lost on the streets of Dublin and other counties before someone says enough is enough? Why does the government think it's okay for a person to freeze to death on our streets? I urge every single one of you to do your part. Contact your local TD, write to Minister Coveney and demand action now. Each one of us matters. Each one of us can make a difference. Don't settle. Stand up and be heard. Stand up and speak out. It's about time that this government started listening to its citizens. Don't be scared. You can do this. Let us come together. Let us stand together side by side. The following message is a message for other homeless families and individuals. Most people give up when they are knocked down. But I know you won't. You will keep going. You will see this through. You will get through this. It takes courage to act. It takes courage to stand up and say, enough is enough. This journey will make you stronger. Never lose hope. Hope is what will keep you going. I wrote a short poem because I'm in Trinity College now. And I'm hoping that you a lot like it. So if you just take a second, I'll read it out to you. It's called, Do You See Me? Do you see me? I'm sitting right here on this cold, wet pavement in soaking wet gear. Do you see me? Please say hello. Don't walk straight past me. At least nod to let me know. Do you see me? I need your help. I don't want to beg to feed myself. Do you see me? 
I think not. I have been forgotten, left here to rot. Hang on. Do you see me? The answer is no. Left out to face the elements, it's minus two below. No one cares about me, I know that now. Because if they did, they would ask how. How it's okay to leave me on the street with no shelter and nothing to eat. In the distant future, one day, I hope to have a home. I dream of a place I can finally call my own. Thank you. Well done, well done. Yeah. Just